I'm Peter Humphreys from Humphreys Suspension. Uh, for the last 10 years, 12 years, I've been working on uh, fixing old trailers, rusted trailers, mainly boat trailers, yacht trailers, uh, bobcats, forklift trailers. Uh, as you can see, what I've been working with is, is the older style of rocker suspension. Uh, it's been around for probably the last 100 years. No one's changed it. There's rubber suspension, there's a few different suspensions on the market. However, uh, it's, it's quite a big job replacing these rigs. Uh, once they've rusted, nearly everything's gone on, so it virtually pays to buy a, a new rocker set. Uh, there's about a day's working to uh, fix the springs to the chassis. Uh, plus, it, it's, just, it's just not a nice job, and it's quite expensive. You're looking around $1,200 for a three-ton set at the time you fit it, uh, with welding, etc. Uh, I've come up with this uh, humpback suspension, which uh, I think it's uh, alleviates all the problems that we've had in the past with these old rocker suspension. I've just made it simple, beefed it up where it's needed to be. Uh, like as, as you can see with this spring here, it's, it's 50 mil by six, and as you can see, it's broken. You'll, you'll find any spring works, any trail repair place, you'll, you'll find quite a lot of these. Right. What I've done with the humpback suspension, I've used a 100 by 13 mil spring steel bar, but as you can see, yeah, the thickness it alleviates the problem of any breakage. You know, if, you, if you're on holidays with your caravan, horse floats or whatever, ever, yeah, this stops that problem of, of breaking down on, on your trip. Uh, also, as you can see, with this suspension, we have four pivoting points as to your standard rock and roller suspension, which has nine points per side. So we've, we've cut down on the rust factor, moving parts, wear and tear. Also, we've beefed this up where, where it's needed and uh, really using the old fashioned suspension uh, that we've got here, we've enabled it to come up with this product. Uh, we have three different spring sizes, we have a 2.4, 3.2 and a 3.5 uh, rating on, on these springs. It does have elongated holes at the end of the springs. It, it'll take a 40, 45 or a 50 mil axle. Now, if you want a low ride, put your axles on the top of the spring. That'll bring your trailer down to, uh, uh, it, to, uh, for, for forklifts, bobcats, etc., it'll bring you down quite low. If, if you're off-road, uh, if you've got fuel trailers or whatever, uh, what you do is put your axles underneath. You, you'll find you'll, you'll pick up about 60 mil uh, by using your axle on the top or the bottom of the spring. As far as the mounts goes, as, as I mentioned before, it's quite easy to mount. New bolts, this will fit a 45 or a 50 mil uh, chassis which can be just directly u bolted straight onto your chassis as far as your weight distribution put your hump back on to where, wherever it's needed as far as your, your, load, your loading uh, requirements you've got the grease points we use a salt steel bushes uh, we find the uh, nylon uh, a bit too light for this suspension uh, we get uh, far better durability by having the uh, solid steel bushes um, one of the big advantages I've, I've found in, in, in uh, putting these springs together it's enabled us to make a quite cheap tipping trailer or tilt trailer for race cars for loading where ramps aren't, uh, you, you just don't need ramps with, with this suspension. And the travel to make a really simple trailer, look, to make this trailer tip, I'll put the humpbacks on, It'll cost you somewhere around the $600 mark to put this suspension on. It'll enable you to, uh, look, you can physically uh, lift this, tilt this trailer and drive your bobcat on, uh, as I'll show you. Like, it, it's just an easy way to go, it's no brain really. But uh, there's also a benefit you can use with this. I have fitted a uh, an $80 hydraulic uh, ram, which is uh, just off, off an engine crane, uh, mounted to a floating drawbar. And if, if you've got a load of 
wood or coloured or the machine can't get off, um, the, the can't be uh, driven off. Um, we put this ram on just to, just to give some hydraulic power to feel this. Um, also, the, uh, the advantage of this trailer, uh, you, the four wheels have got the same load on the ground at all times. So uh, unlike if you had just a standard rocker suspension, you'd find that those front wheels would be, be probably uh, 200 mil off, off the ground. Uh, it's a mechanism that just makes this travel, which makes it quite unique. Uh, if the ram, we just have, 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 a, have a stop valve on it, so to, to drop this trailer, quite simple. We've got just a screw down locking device. Right, you've seen the capabilities of the humpback suspension. Uh, as I've pointed out, uh, this suspension, it's easy to fit, it's non expensive. If you want to make a tilt trailer or a tipping trailer, this suspension will do the job at a mi minimal cost uh, compared to hydro hydraulics. Uh, the uh, load sharing capabilities and, and the swing and travel that we get out of this suspension far exceeds anything else that's out there. Uh, so look, it's worth considering um, when you're fitting, retrofitting or building a new trailer. Thank you.